next one I want to do is actually the get. So I want to get something using an ID and that's very simple. You probably already guessed it. Right now look at it's right here, right? So the get is very very simple. We'll just do this. We'll just do a return statement and use one of our new lambda expressions right here. And uh, there we go. Now we're actually using link and lambda combined. We just returned the first customer with that specific ID or null. Ta-da! Very simple. Now one more thing you should actually consider is why not, if this is the case, that this works, then why not just use the get function directly up here like this to make my code even simpler. Reusing code. Yay! That's actually good, but just beware that you don't end up doing this in places where you actually make new requests to database. You do things where you kind of end up not having an overview of what's actually going on. In this case, it's, it makes sense, right? I used the get function. The get function did exactly the same up here, so I'm just moving it down one space. Very simple stuff. And uh, we might get back later and play more with this, but let's just keep this for now. See you in the next lesson.